everybody. Let's take a quick look at some of the features in the monitor of our next gen dozer. Let's jump in here to settings and talk a little bit about some of the different machine settings. So in here I can enable or disable blade float. If I'm doing some fine finish work, I might not want blade float on, so I might go ahead and disable it. Same thing with quick drop. If I'm doing finish work, I may want to go ahead and disable that. Blade response, standard, fine, or fast. Your normal CAD operator is going to be happy with standard. If you're doing some finish grading and you want your blade to be a little slower, go ahead and choose fine. If you're doing some heavier dozing and you want a nice fast blade, you can choose that as well too. Auto carry. If I have my CAT grade with 3D system on here, I can go ahead and enable my auto carry and that'll allow me to uh, allow me to help manage a little bit of my slip and my blade load. My auto carry load factor is going to determine how quickly it starts to pick the blade up when it senses me slipping. The higher the number, the more aggressive I can be in my cut before it picks the blade up. The lower the number, the quicker it's going to pick the blade up when it starts to see me slip. We've also got our custom bi-directional down here. Now this is the fifth position on the bi-directional dial, the one with the little man. And I can go ahead and set my bi-directional speed that I would like to have for that. Whatever particular speed that I want to have, I can go ahead and dial that in here. And now when I dial the position to the fifth position, this guy here, it's going to automatically go to 1-8 forward and 2-4 reverse for me. Custom bi-directional. Auto shift. This lets me turn my auto shift on or off. Most of the time I'm going to want to run with auto shift on, but there may be a situation that I might, I might want to turn auto shift off and control the shifting myself. Of course the engine reversing fan, enabled or disabled, and then the durations there. How long do I want the reversing cycle to go, and how often do I want the reversing cycle to go. Here it allows me to turn my lights on or off. I can choose my powertrain oil type for my auto shift system. And then I can tur turn on my reversing fan manual perch. That will allow me to use this button or not use that button if I turn that off. 